Hey gang, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of The Fishing Teacher and hope you guys are having a good day. Much appreciated y'all joining us today. Uh, we're gonna be talking about the Zoom Big Salty Chunk today. It's one of my favorite jig trailers. I'm gonna give you guys some tips and advice on when you wanna use it and how to set it up. I think it's gonna add up to some good fish for you guys. So anyway, guys, the Zoom Big Salty Chunk, this is one of the oldest uh, jig trailers out there as far as when jig trailers came up. And if you, what they deal, deal is this, you know, the original pork frogs that were considered the mainstay of jig trailers, this is almost an identical duplicate of what the uh, pork frog trailers look like. These were, these trailers were originally made out of pork and Zoom and some other companies started making them out of plastic. And the advantage to that, there's a couple different things, is um, they were available in more color options because obviously in pork, you're limited to solid colors like brown and black and all that type of stuff. But when you're talking about, you know, some type of a plastic like this, you can start to add flake in it and you can create a, a lot of different, more natural colors like green pumpkins, watermelons, just about any color you want to do. So from the standpoint of color, um, there's a big advantage to using the, uh, the soft plastic ones. Um, also a little bit, you have a little bit better consistency. One of the drawbacks of using pork is pork. Um, it, it, it gets crooked and stiff and takes a set. That's just sort of the nature of, of the pork, but the uh, consistency of the plastic stays a little bit easier to work with. So it's a little bit more user friendly. So first of all, when do you want to use a big salty chunk? Um, this is a, this is a trailer guys that I pair up when I want what I consider what's called a full size jig. Now, if you're using a full size jig, it means you're wanting a larger size jig. So um, this is my block of old school jig here, which is a full size jig. And by the way, guys, you can, I'll put the bait, the bait works link in the description. If you guys want to get some of the jigs and the trailers here, you guys can order them through there. But the purpose of the chunk is to create a larger profile lure. So the first thing that I do with the chunk is see that we talked a little bit about this on the, uh, uh, the, the, uh, super chunk yesterday, but see how thick that is right there. A lot of times I'll just take, you can take scissors or, you can just, a lot of times I just bite it and knock off a little bit of that plastic, the mass right there. And that gives you a little bit more hook penetration. And it's pretty simple, guys. You just, you just hook it um, right on the end of it, just like that. And I prefer to hook it with the, uh, th the what's called the, the fat side down like that. So that side down, you know, you can see it's concaved right there. Some guys will hook it the other way, but I prefer to hook it like that. And this is the basic setup here. This is the old school jig and chunk, jig and pork chunk before it came the, the big salty chunk. But guys, the advantage of this bait is the width of the trailer here. See how wide it is? This is like an over probably an inch, inch wide. It creates a larger profile, not only with length, but in the width and the girth here. So larger profile means it's gonna be more attractive to bigger fish. Another thing that the big salty chunk does is it'll, it'll help slow your bait down a little bit. So if you're using like a three eighths ounce jig, which this is right here, the size and the mass of the plastic on there will slow that bait down a little bit even further. So color combinations, um, I just match it up to the jig. Usually if I'm using a black and blue like this, I'll either use a solid blue or solid black trailer. If I'm using some type of a brown or green pumpkin jig, I'll use the watermelon or the green pumpkin trailer. But it's pretty simple, guys. This is, I would say that out of all the jig fishing I've done over the years, this is my favorite setup. If I had to, if you told me, okay, Randy, you can pick one jig and trailer setup to use from now on, it would be the full size jig with the big salty chunk on it. I've just got so much confidence. I like the way the bait looks in the water. And it really doesn't get fish much, guys. There's what's happened is the last five or six years, there's been a big trend in the jig, uh, you know, genre of lures. People go with the curly tail trailers, like those Rage Cross or the Speed Cross. They like a flapping trailer. Guys, it's been my experience. I catch more fish on you know the non-flapping, non-wiggly trailers on there. Now that I will use them at times, but this is the one that I just really love to do. Put a flipping stick in my hand with 20 pound test line. And this jig right here and i'm i'm happy all day long so anyway guys give it a try get you some i'll put the link in the description you can order a few um like i said if i it's it is my favorite trailer all the way around i mean i use a bunch of them don't get me wrong but um i've just got the confidence i have in this trailer is just sky sky high so hope it helps you guys we'll talk later